Right then. Right over there is the Woodland Hill and the Jowsborough Fort. Seems a long way off now. I walked all the way up, got quite, quite close to the top. I've walked all the way around since then. All the way around and around and around and around and around. Following different tracks. Right, earlier I was right over there. I'm going to end up walking all along the top there and then back to Holford. You've got to make m the most of the weather, you see, because um, although you can come up here in the pouring rain, it, I mean, in the, you've got to have really good waterproofs. And uh, you've got to want to walk in. You can't really do photography in the rain. It get, your camera would get wet. But if you're dressed up well on a cold, crisp day, no, it's no problem. So there we are, folks. This is my lovely Quantox. Great Wood is right over in the distance, Nether Stowey that way. Holford down there. Minehead over the... Um, Swansea right over there. Minehead over that way in Exmoor, Porlock and all that. Just doing a bit more of the walk. Um, what's going on in the world? Let's think. Oh, I don't really know. Because you've got that Brexit thing going on and then there's Trump. Um, with all his attitude to everything. Um, one of the... Republican leaders died the other day, um, McCann, who was a war veteran who got shot down in, I can't remember which war, I think it was the Korean War actually, and he was held prisoner for a long time. Um, anyway, he's, uh, he's died now, and uh, there was a, some sort of thing going on about the, the, the flag at the White House only being flown for a short time at half mast, so he had to do it again, lower it again. He's only died this week, the bloke. Um, there's been all sorts of sporting events going on. Um, people keep dying, of course, there's a lot of that going on. And, but apart from that, it's just the usual stuff going on. It's, it's, it's near the end of the summer holidays now. Um, darker evenings are coming in, um, autumn's approaching, and, um, I'm out enjoying this beautiful, beautiful place, which I absolutely love, and I, sometimes I wish I lived closer, so I could do more of it, and more often. So I have to... Try and fit in as much as I can when I do get out here. I'm, I'm trying to explore as much as I can of it. I've done a lot over the last two years. And uh, I now have my sights on going a little bit further, which can only be done, can be done, if I've got a vehicle. Oh, oh, baby. I don't like babies. I do like them, but they scare me. Anyway, the start of the Somerset coast as well, going to, towards Devon is at Minehead, so I mean I really ought to stay away for a week and do some hiking over this way, you know, really, I should really, but Alberta does have a lot of spiders, I'm not sure if there's no false widows either, I always seem to get loads of bites when I've after I've been camping and uh, they take well they can take nearly a year to heal properly <sighs> then I've got to leave my property and my stuff which is always a worry as well because you, you know in this day and age if anyone knows you're away they might try and break in <sighs> I don't exactly live in the mind you people that live out in the sticks get robbed I live um, in Drug City, I and mean, I live, I'm surrounded by drug addicts where I am. So, and they would sell what's very precious to you for next to nothing just to get a fix, you know. Not that I've got anything. 
but I'm not, I'm just an ordinary person. So, oh, I can see a horse on the skyline there, so have a zoom in, isn't it? Somebody having a nice, enjoyable ride out in the countryside. Of course, over there we've got, that's the trick point up there, that's Beacon Hill. I did that the other week when I did Smith's Coombe. I did all up that area. There's still a lot to explore, like Wee Valley and all that. There's still a lot to do over there, in the plantation area. But my, uh, my aim today, is so, although I'm very drawn, as you know, I love Holford Coombe. I absolutely love it, you know. I really do. I do love the Coombe. And it's very close now for the turning point at Bickernola Post. Uh, it's very close. That, for example, there's the track. I'll just zoom in. See that line there, that track there? That's the, the what you have to go down. There's Bicanola Post. There's the track you have to go down to go down to Holford and the springs and the water and all that. So I'll follow it. Follow it round. But I'm gonna I wanna do the edge. Sometimes I have to say, well you can't do that today, Sheila, because I want you to do the edge. Do you know what I mean? So, though I like, I do love the coom. I really love the coom. You know. <sighs> and if I was a bit younger, I'd go do Ladies' Edge and walk back up the coom. I was <laughs> just to do another walk. I just love it. Orkins are a very, very fast runner. That person's a sprinter. Oh, they stopped now. Oh, two people. God, are they fl really sprinting? Like a flipping gazelle. So here we have, don't forget Coleridge and Wordsworth. Loved it all around here as well and would have walked all these walks I'm doing. Even though Coleridge has got a specific walk, they would have done all the other tracks as well. They would have done this. They've been here 200 years ago. They were here. This view wouldn't hasn't changed. hasn't been dug up, you know, and relayed or anything. This would have been here. Yeah, it's funny how you get these little patches. Almost like it's been mowed or something there, that golden bit. It's weird how you get those, isn't it? <laughs> I just wonder if that's where the deer gather. I mean, quite often the deer are on this hill here. Not a, not a sight. I've been all round today. I've not seen nothing. Not even a hint of them gathering. Nothing. They must have gone to Exmoor. I wonder if they feel threatened here. Not to see anything at all. It's like so unusual, really, not to see one bloody deer. Over and out for a minute. <laughs> 